Well, as if the story of King Richard wasn't amazing enough, tonight in Leicester, an incredible historical reunion is taking place. The descendants of 20 families who fought at the Battle of Bosworth are meeting for the first time. It's uh, all the result of yet more research by the University of Leicester. Well, Simon Hare is at a special reception in the city now and can tell us more. Simon. Good evening, Dominic. Yes, well, we all know how DNA evidence was used to prove that those remains discovered buried under that car park were those of King Richard. But the same science has also been used to trace uh, descendants of other people who fought at the Battle of Bosworth. Uh, and people from both sides of that battle are here tonight and have been reunited for the first time. Uh, some people coming from as far as, as uh, Australia and South Africa to meet relatives that they didn't know they had for a special uh, champagne reception and meal ahead of tomorrow's big event. But let's have a word with the man who is behind it all, and that's Professor Kevin Shearer from the University of Leicester. Kevin, we, we know why you did it with King Richard, but why did you feel the need to do it with these other people who were descended from those who fought at Bosworth? I think the reinterment will be a very special occasion for them. I thought it was entirely appropriate that descendants of people who fought and some who lost their lives on the field of Bosworth should be represented at the reinterment. And the cathedral asked me to go away and find people, and that's exactly what I did. How difficult was it? It was a challenge. Uh, in some respects, it was much harder than actually finding the DNA donors that helped identify Richard, partly because, of course, these are common families, and I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. Um, they don't necessarily have uh, nobility or aristocracy in, in their past. So uh, it took me about four months, but it was an amazing journey, and I'm really glad to have done it. You discovered that some of them have almost a foot in both camps. Oh, absolutely. Um, some of the individuals here have ancestors on both sides. And of course, we've got a direct descendant here from the Stanleys who, shall we say, sat on the fence during the battle uh, and intervened late on. So uh, I was wondering whether or not we should sit the Yorkists on one side tonight and the Lancastrians on the other, but then realize that that was almost going to be an impossibility. I just hope that they all have a great time. Okay, Professor Kevin Shearer, many thanks. Uh, on our late news tonight, you'll hear some of the stories of those relatives who, although it's 530 years ago, still feel, uh, have certain emotions about what happened and what happened to the, uh, the line of the monarchy uh, in this country. Of course, final preparations still going on at the cathedral tonight ahead of the reinterment tomorrow. But as I say, more on our late news as well about those families' particular stories. That's some reunion, isn't it, Simon? Thanks very much. Indeed. Amazing. That's so interesting. It, it is. <laughs>